Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, my name is Mohammed, and as you said, I'll be doing two points for you. But before I start, I just want to say a very big thank you to First Story for giving students like me the chance to stand on a stage like this and perform in front of you people. So I think they deserve a round of applause. <laughs> Okay, the first poem I'm going to do is called I Remember. I remember back in the days when I was so fresh. I came from Africa to here and spoke no English. I was what you would call fresh off the boat. I started school and everybody laughed at the way that I spoke. I hated school. Every day felt like a test. I felt anger mixed up with being overly stressed. But the fact is, I was barely five. I was always just glad to come out of school alive. You see, everything around me was all very new. The weather, the culture, and even the food. You see, back in Africa, after school, I would be running down the beaches. I came here after school, I'm trying to search for the cheapest pizzas. In Africa, most people were respectively black. It was all right. I came here, everyone seemed to be all white. I won't lie, I was kind of scared. I used to look at my skin color and then look at theirs. I used to think, damn, I really don't belong here. I wish I could go back to Africa and live life with no fear. I remember once some guy said to me, yo, we saying? I said quiet, but inside I was praying. What did he mean by that? I didn't say anything. He looked into my eyes and I could feel everything. Yeah, I know this story is a bit weird and revealing, but then again, it just has to be told. This is how my life was at six years old. At the same age of six, there's something I remember. The date was 2001, the 11th of September. My dad switched on the TV and we watched the news. We saw a plane going into towers, not one, but two. To be honest, I was quite young to know. All I knew was the plane hit the towers and they started to blow. But to this day, that tragedy still affects me. And if I'm wrong in what I say, please correct me. I feel like I'm living life and it's unfair. I'm just an innocent Muslim, but they don't care. I'm stereotyped based on other people's actions. They hear I'm a Muslim, it causes a hateful reaction. Islam is not about terrorism, it's about peace. So can I stop being classed as a terrorist, please? I'm just 16, I cause no harm. So don't let the media shape your views on Islam. I remember back when no one judged you for what your faith is. People lived in peace and moved freely around places. People didn't fear their neighbors for what color their face is. And nobody minded if you were Christian, Muslim, Jewish, or an atheist. It's crazy that I remember all of these days. I remember a lot at just 16 years of age. I love it when I remember and look back at the past, the good sides in life and the tragedies that have passed. Remembering is what helps us stay alive. I remember all the experiences in my life. The next poem I'm going to do is called Diversity. I wrote this uh, at a residential course that First Story done last year in July in Somerset. And I wrote this for the people. It was originally dedicated for the people who were there. But I thought I could change the words a bit around and it could fit for anyone. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, when many different worlds come together and collide, the different colored faces and the multicolored eyes, from all corners of the world, from London to Dubai, we may not speak much, but a smile feels like a high. Cultures coming closer, clashing, creating confusion. Why do you speak like that? What's that you are using? Every day we'll be learning some more. You might learn about people you never even heard of before. I've heard different accents and seen different clothes. I've seen people take pictures, each with a different pose. I've seen potential lawyers and potential doctors. I've seen potential authors and potential boxers. It's fascinating to see so many different people. But one thing we all have in common is that we are kind and peaceful. And for those of you which I've met, I'm pleased that I've met you because we are all family here. That's why I'd always love you and respect you. So nervous, you don't even know. <laughs> well, I'm pretty much done now. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the show.